Morning everybody, welcome back. Saturday again. So we're gonna jump back on our uh, Bikes, Brews, and Barbecue build. Um, today, I don't know what all we'll get done, but number one on the list is to modify the transmission cover for our hydraulic slave cylinder. So, yes, I know you can buy these. If you haven't noticed, we like to make stuff around here. Um, number one reason is it'll be a cool custom part unique to the bike that no one else has the other thing is i found this really cool finned slave cylinder um, so once we modify this we'll have the finned cover with the finned slave we will polish the slave cylinder the cover is going to get gloss black and we'll just have a really cool unique part that nobody else has in the world so to us that's custom if you order it out of a catalog yeah there's some nice great parts but we try to order as little as possible obviously we can't make everything certain stuff you need um, but we we make as much as we can to make our bikes unique so anyway we're gonna head out into the shop fire up the milling machine and get cranking all right so we got the cover flipped upside down to start. First thing we're gonna do is locate the center for our clutch push rod. We're gonna use the factory cable clutch puller. It's got a hole center in it where the throw out bearing lined up. So this is how I usually do these. You can do these type of conversions on basically any bike um, using this same method. Um, obviously there'll be a few different steps, but We got our locating hole drilled. So now that we've got that done, we're going to pull out all our stock clutch mechanism here, which is a snap ring and our ramp and our balls, so get rid of all that. We're not gonna need that anymore. And I'm gonna put our cover back. And we're gonna reline up our hole using our same drill bit. Lock our cable back. Go ahead and pull that bit out. All right, so next up, we're gonna get this hole opened up to our slave cylinder our diameter, so. Go ahead and measure that up. Zero out our tool. So we're about uh, it's one, inch, eight, one inch 886. So what I usually do is get a hole saw pretty close. This is just under an inch and three quarters. And we'll rough out the big chunk of material rather than boring with the boring head all that way.
bring this back in. So we need to take out about 132 thousandths. So. taking 25 at a time so now second pass counterbore done the next thing to do is get this lined up where we want it and then we're gonna make our bolt holes so the first thing we'll do is transfer punch our first hole once we've got that which I'm sure you probably can't see on the video here but we do have a, a punch mark there um, We'll put the drill chuck back in, we'll center drill this, and we'll drill it for our tap bolt. Then we'll come back with an end mill this diameter, which is probably, I don't know, maybe 5 eighths. Let's see. Yeah, just under 5 eighths. And we'll make a flat spot at the same level as our counter bore. And then we'll do that on all three holes and then we'll have a nice spot for this to drop in, sit flat, and bolt on.
20 volts to bolt this on. So um, we're gonna use a number seven drill bit, which we checked off our drill index, or our uh, tap chart rather. All right guys, just a quick interruption in the video here. I want to tell you about how to enter to win. Um, as I said in a couple previous videos, we're going to pop this information in the middle of all of our videos here and there. Um, just to let people know how to enter and it'll get people to watch the videos as you got to watch and find where the information is. So it's going to be real simple. Uh, you don't have to buy anything, doesn't cost you anything, you just need to send an email. I'm going to try to get the email on the screen here. I'm not a super tech whiz, so we'll see how that goes, but um, the email address is pretty straightforward. It's Gaddy's Garage Giveaway at gmail.com. So all you have to do, send one email in the email, subject line, giveaway, and in the body of the email, your name, address, telephone number. That's it. Um, you don't actually even need to give your whole address if you don't want. Just let's scratch the address. Let's give your name, your city and state, and a contact phone number. We're not going to sell the phone numbers. No one will ever have them but me. So don't worry about that. You're not going to get sales calls. I hate sales calls as much as everybody else. But we do need a way to get a hold of you if you win. So um, again, name, city and state, telephone number. You do need to be a subscriber to the channel to win also. So if you're seeing this and you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and then send the information on over. So we look forward to everybody entering and we're really excited to give away this bike. Now back to the video.
wanted to jump back real quick. So the way I do this is I'm going to tap this hole now and bolt this in place so that we have it locked in where we want. Then we'll transfer punch our other two holes. Just gives you a better fit and no chance of it jumping around when you transfer punch. So we're going to pop it out of the vise here, do that, and then come back. All right, there you have it. Got our bore and our counter bore done. Nice snug fit. Locked in. We just got a couple, two more holes to tap. And uh, last thing we got to do on here is plug up the old cable hole. You know, it's got a hole right here where the cable used to go in. Um, just going to probably make a little plug and uh, work pretty good actually for a tranny drain plug for future service. So also something I'm going to do, going back to our old drag bike days, we used to uh, epoxy the cases in in certain areas where the webbing was thin and we were worried about cracking. We'd sandblast in the webbing and fill it full of epoxy just to give it a little bit of extra strength. So I'm not worried about strength on this, but these bolt holes that bolt the slave cylinder on go all the way through um, and would be a, a source of an oil leak. So what I'm going to do is blast inside this cover. I'm going to put some bolts in. I'll put a little grease on the tip of the bolt and then we'll fill the cavities where the bolt go in with epoxy. And then once we, once the epoxy cures, we pop the bolts out and it'll be a blind hole instead of a through hole at that point. And we will have, um, less likelihood of an oil leak from the slave cylinder bolts. All right, there you have it. Got our bleed nipple up top. Our banjo bolt will go probably come up from the bottom because it's running through the frame right here. Nice clean fit. And uh, we'll have this slave cylinder polished up so the fins pop real nice. This cover is going to get blasted and painted gloss black. And that's going to be it for this portion of the project. All right guys, this is just gonna be a quick rundown on the progress overall. You can see we got our wires run through the frame. We got our tail light housing mounted up. Wires are all internal on that. Got our coil, our voltage regulator mounted. And the biggest bit of progress so far is our front fork. You can see we got our steering neck badge in there and uh, our fully modified Springer front end with our 26 inch front wheel. So we are hoping to have our flywheels assembled this weekend and then start getting our motor put together and uh, maybe get our tins painted this coming up week. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for joining us as always. Please don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Check out our giveaway bike video. And uh, as always, thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you next time at Gaddy's Garage.